Okay, so um, I want to do this video showing you guys. Um, it's basically going to be like college 101. Um, if you're a freshman and you know you're going to start college or um, university, or if um, you're going back to school. So um, basically, I'm just going to show you guys um, what you're going to need for for college if you're a freshman or if you're already going to school but you know just a few tips and stuff so um i'm gonna start by what you need so in college you either use like laptops or um some professors um rather you just you know have a notebook and just write so um for this summer i'm taking like two courses and one of them, one of them, I'm sorry, is psychology. And so, um, my professor, she doesn't like it when um, we, I'm sorry, when we um, take laptops and stuff like that. So what I do is, um, well, what I did, because it's almost gonna end. It's been like two weeks already, two weeks that we have left. I'm sorry. So um, I have this Staples notebook. They're pretty inexpensive. It's, um, pocket holders where you could put like your scantrons since a lot of um, professors want you to buy them. Well, most of them. I mean, it's college. You buy your own stuff. So that's that. Um, now, that was enough, actually, for, like, three weeks. Because it, it, it was a summer session. But um, I went to Walmart, and I bought this notebook for about $3. And it's a five-star notebook. I'm sorry, let me just take this out. It's a five-star notebook. And um, it's black, so I really like it. And it also has the pocket holders. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I really like these. Um, yeah, so you're definitely going to need notebooks. So for the first day of class, just take one notebook. That's enough. Um, just to take notes, and they're basically going to give you your syllabus and all that stuff. I'm sorry, I just see orange. Um, and then, yeah, um, so notebook is a must. One notebook is enough for, I mean, the first day of class. Um, you don't have to buy your book at the beginning of the class unless um, your professor has um, emailed you or, or sent you a letter saying that you have to have it by the first day of, of class or you know such date so um i usually buy them but for summer since it's like i'm not gonna use it for a really long time and it's gonna you know it it basically it's going fast so um i rented this book from campus book rentals and um if you can see it's a psychology book um it it's very big so I was supposed to buy this one and it was about a hundred and something but I mean I, I would have bought it but I'm like it's not worth it because it's just like for five weeks and so yeah I rented this one and I did like I think fast shipping so that was extra um, and basically how they this company works um, you put the days um, that you're gonna rent rent this book for either it's a semester um or you know depending on how long you want to use it for i put um five weeks i, I think i put six weeks actually it's not a full semester because it's for summer so i think i put like six weeks just in case you know so it could get there on time and i don't know how they work um if they send you a, a printout to send um, to send it back so you won't have to pay when you send it back the whole packaging stuff and all that stuff um, I did rent a while ago another book but um, I don't remember which one was it it was just a last minute book as well so I really needed it so yeah renting was like my only option because it was just last minute and I needed it like really fast so okay so this is a really good um book and yeah um this company is good so far this is my first time so it's called campus book rentals 
and um yeah it came like i think i ordered on a wednesday or on a thursday on a thursday and it came on a monday or tuesday one of those days but it, it wasn't more than two or three days because i did fast shipping but yeah so i paid um i think like 26 dollars or 23 dollars just for like five weeks six weeks actually so you could even add the more you add the more it will be so i added i think another day like an extra day and it was like for each day i think it was like a dollar or so i don't remember but it's super cheap so i really like this one um yeah so um if you want to rent books this will be like a good um company to rent it from um what else um, yeah there's another company like i said but um i forgot it but if i find it i will put it on the link below um, but for the notebooks, yeah, for the first day, you know, you just take notes about the class and all that stuff. So just, you know, this would be a good notebook. And it's five star. And it's only like three bucks at Walmart. So for back to school, um, I just bought it this week. This, last Saturday, I think. Yeah. And um, it's Monday today. So I got it on Saturday. And yeah, it was like three dollars. Three something. Three twenty five. So it's pretty good for, um, I think it's one subject notebook. And, um, or you could go to Staples and purchase the same one. Um, the quality is, sim it's like the same. Not really because, um, um, it's kind of the same, but I don't know. I, I, you know, it's five star. I trust this one. Staples is good as well. I mean, whatever works for you. So basically just take one, um, one notebook on your first day of school and I repeat one notebook. Um, make sure that by the first week or second week you have scantrons just in case they could um they sell them at your you know um bookstore in your campus or you can just you know try to buy them online or whatever works for you just make sure you listen during the first week of, of um, college because you know there's a lot of things that you're gonna have to write down so scantrons are really good and so I bought these at my um college campus and um i was gonna say oh yeah so um so a lot of professors they talk really really fast and i think a lot of college students go through the same pain that you have to take notes because they don't want you to use laptops sometimes well in this psychology class my professor was like you can't use laptop I'm like uh, she didn't tell me but she, i heard so i was like crap so um if you were to not be able to um you know take your your laptop to take notes you know if you're a fast typer because I am um, then try and ask if you could use a voice um, recorder and if you can so you can record at the beginning of the class till the end and um, yeah that's like a really good idea but make sure you ask because some professors do not like that they get really pissed off or sometimes even if you ask sometimes they get offended because I remember when I asked one for um, a sociology class my professor got like <laughs> she got offended <laughs> she was like I was like okay I felt it but anyways um yeah so that's it but um yeah if not then make sure you um if they do allow laptops, make sure that you take your laptop charge because unless you're going to sit all the way in the back and, you know, you're going to be able to use the, the charge thingy, to the plug to charge it. Other than that, make sure it's charged because what's the whole point of taking the laptop if it's not charged? Um, yeah, so I took once only my, my laptop, but other than that, I'm like, I'm so used to writing, you know? Um... And yeah, that one time that I asked my professor if I could use um, a voice recorder, and she was like, I think she said no, but she didn't even reply, I think, but yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, I usually just take my, my laptop to Starbucks and um, when I want to study or or do stuff, you know, online and stuff, like, like use Word, Microsoft Word, or check my emails. Because I have like a lot of emails. So you're going to have in college your um, email for school. And you can have your separate emails that you've been using since you've been a teenager, I guess. Um, so I have like 
four or five emails. One of them is for school, obviously. Um, from school, they gave me an email. Um, the other one um, that I have is for um, my career. The other one that I have is for s my business, something else that I have with my family going on. And so it's, um, yeah, I have like other emails that. Um, so, yeah. You could take a notebook as well, but, um, uh, so I have this one that's, um, it's from Staples. It's just very simple. It's purple. And purple's not even my favorite color. It's actually pink, but whatever. It's, um, it's a three-wing binder. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I've used it, like, twice, um, since I'm just taking two courses right now. It's summer. And that's actually a lot, to be honest, because the exams are, like, almost every week so it's super stressful and if they're not giving exams they'll be giving quizzes um and yeah so but I mean it is what it is but yeah for next um for fall which is for back to school um definitely make sure that you know you're able to handle those classes and if you're new um make sure that you know you know what you're getting yourself into because sometimes um in college or university they have like to drop um, the deadline to drop so make sure you follow those rules because if not they could give you a W and you don't want a W you know um what else um for pencils and pens I mean take two pens two pencils um an eraser if you want what I do is I um oh highlighters I love highlighters like in my campus bookstore they have like a lot of they sell highlighters um so yeah, like highlighters are a must. <laughs> and what I do, like I had a theater class. What I did is like I loved it so much because I love theater and stuff. And I love acting. I don't love theater. Um, but whatever. So um yeah, I I had an, I always buy like one um subject notebook. I don't buy like the two or three or four. Cause I mean it's college, come on. Um Make sure you take separate, like, separate sheet of papers if you're taking your binder. That'll be good. So, yeah, like, I would, um, take notes, like, a full page of notes for my theater class. And then I would just highlight with different colors because it's super, like, I get bored, to be honest. But it's interesting, but I still get bored of the lecture. So I just, like, start highlighting with different colors. And, and it's just fun, you know. You're, you're just entertaining yourself. So, um... Yeah, I bought these at my campus, and they're like Sharpies highlighters. They're good. So I have um, an orange one and a, uh, what is it? Yellow. And then I bought this one also, and it's a pink one. This one's by Pentel. It's a highlighter. It's pink. But yeah, I have these three colors. And then um, for back to school, which for me was back to summer school. I um, bought like a package of um, from Staples of um, the Teen Vogue um, collection that they have on Staples. So this is like one of the pens, and they're all floral, and it says Teen Vogue right here. Where at? Right there, right here. And it's pretty cool. Um, I also bought like um, for the erasers. Well, make sure you have um, these kind of pencils. Pencils that you can use for the Scantron because you will be taking, you know, midterms, terms, whatever you want to call it, finals. So do that. Um, take a sharpener because you don't want to be that one person that's like before taking the quiz or the test or the exam, start sharpening your pencil, making that annoying ass noise. Like it's so embarrassing. I mean, I feel bad for you. Like, you know what I mean? So make sure you take, I mean, these are like 99 cent store ones or you could get them on Staples or whatever. It's, I mean, it's super simple it's nothing to you know that you just can't do you just have to like prepare yourself and um you know like college is stressful but you gotta like be organized this is where your organ organizing skills come you know oh here's the other pen from the team bow collection it's a purple one and i think there are four of them so that's freaking awesome they work really good the whole summer they've been working so um what else? I bought this um, eraser from Team Vogue as well from the collection. 
and I haven't used it so I mean it's just there I'm always prepared um, I do not take a backpack many students take a backpack but it's mostly during the fall because um, I mean I'm talking about girls not guys you know um, because um, they'll be carrying a lot of books because maybe they say you know after after school to um, go to the library do research whatever you know so on so on but for me in my case it's like um you know, I have transportation and all that stuff, so it's like, for me, it's all good, you know. I could just come home, I'm comfy here to do my work, I'll go to the library. Um, but no, I'll definitely just go to Starbucks, to be honest. I've gone to the library, like, once, but just to do, like, a research and stuff, but, I mean, it's easier. You have your laptop, and it doesn't have to be, like, a MacBook Pro, like, it could just be, like, any other laptop, you know. Um, but yeah. I mean, and there's even students that get financial aid, um, and I mean, they could like purchase that. That's why you're have you're getting financial aid, you know. Um, but that's a whole different stuff. But yeah, um, make sure you're like really prepared in your time. If you if you're in a work, like, make sure that you're gonna be able to balance it because a lot of want people want to like. I mean, teens or young adults or even adults want to like work part time and then go to school. And they don't need to because they have their parents' support and just because they want to move out. I mean, use your mind, you know what I mean? Um, but everybody's different. Some people actually do have to work and I have so much respect for those people that like, you know what I mean? Have to like really hustle and, and do their thing. So, I mean, that's that. Um, yeah, make sure you have your school ID, I mean, obviously, um, for the parking. Make sure... Um, you you have that um your parking permit stuff and yeah like in my campus for summer you have to pay like two dollars every day to go into parking um and i'm also in a program in college so they're able to um give me for fall and stuff like that winter and spring they're able to give me um free um what is it free parking so just you know I don't have to pay the 20 something pure or whatever and I just get it for free so that's good so make sure like you get involved in programs and stuff like that because I mean you want to be aware what's about what's going on and stuff and so they also have like um they also have so you're also going to need a lot of like post-its I mean if you're like me because when I take notes I'm going to show you guys my notes um I think it's here yeah, it is. so when I take notes like they're so weird. My notes are so weird. Like, I don't even use, like, one whole page. So, let's say I took some notes here. And, yes, I highlight a lot. But it's the important stuff, you know. So, um, I get really into it. So, <laughs> so we're right here it says behavior, behavior modification. And here you're highlighting. Here I'm highlighting. And then here I stopped and I added a post-it actually two these are the long ones and the reason why I did that even though I have my notes here I added some more notes here um just to take notes of the actual notes if you if you get what I mean so I took my notes and then I added post-its and I took notes of the notes because sometimes it's like really hard to understand I mean if you love if you're really if you like the night before you know the next lecture you start like um you prepare yourself by um studying then you're not going to be able to like use double notes but sometimes if you have more than you know the actual normal classes that you should take or, or sometimes if it's too much for you like sometimes for me i have an exam that one day that one night i had to finish um it was a deadline for for an exam i'm sorry that one day that one night it was um <laughs> Um, I had to finish the exam, so um, I won't be able to study um, for the next day, if that makes sense. I actually not even that. How do I explain? So, let's say um, I have an exam. Okay, let's say today is in the afternoon, and I have an exam tomorrow um, for one of my classes. So I have to really prepare myself to be able to take that exam. So what I would do is I would just study for the other class. In the other class, if I'm not taking an exam, I'll just chill. You know what I mean? So that's that. Um, but 
normally you have to study three hours per class. That's what my counselor told me. So just FYI. Um, yeah, so um, make sure on the first day. I mean, this is just like for new students or not just, you know, a reminder for the first day. Make sure that you um, ask for a syllabus. And if you're not um, given a syllabus, ask if um, it's on, there's this online place. It's not Etudes. It's, um, I don't know, it's an online um, place where you, they put all of the syllabus and the um, slides. So, you know, make sure you ask for that. Just pay attention for the first day and make sure you get a phone number of a classmate. So you gotta, you know, use your, you know, your skills, your socializing, your communication skills. Um, make sure you, um, you're able to get a phone number from a classmate. Not to text or, you know, um, you guys get be friends, but to, like, your, um, your study buddy, put it that way. So, in case you miss school one day, um, you could just text them and be like, um, do you know what chapter where where um where we studied last last night or or what chapter I'm sorry what chapter the exam's gonna be for tomorrow since in the syllabus it says that sometimes um how many you know exams you'll be having to take or quizzes so yeah make sure you you get a, a phone number and give somebody else your phone number or your email if you don't feel comfortable giving your phone number because my first time that I, when I went to college I was like I'm not giving nobody my email my, my 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 phone number it just it was just weird you know so I was like um yeah you could have like my email but you can't have my phone number because the one day what I did is I um somebody asked oh can I have your 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 phone number just to you know like study but I'm like okay we're all professionals here you know in the sense that we know you know we're we're adults so um I was like okay sure so I gave him my number and um I didn't ask for him actually for his number because I had somebody else's number no it wasn't number it was an email and then um he didn't stop like texting me or calling me like a psycho I was like boy you're freaking me out so ever since that I was like no I'm only giving girls my phone numbers as friends because I mean come on we're girls so yeah that's that so make sure you get um, in their email or their phone number. Um, make sure you take like for the first. I, I, I guess like it depends. Like um, I don't know how to explain. This is like ooh, another thing. Um, but yeah, make sure you just like be prepared for anything. You know, the first week make sure you know that's gonna be very stressful because the first week you have to like try to get access to the book to any um two different books um because of your classes depending on how many classes they're taking so you're gonna have to like you know really find out where look for your book basically like in the library you can get it at the library um uh, local libraries public libraries they don't have a lot of um textbooks um but they do have like small books and stuff to read and stuff but not textbooks so the textbooks you're actually gonna have to buy it at your campus library or around your campus library because they have a lot of um, stores um, or rent it online or buy it on Amazon and some chick told me that you put on Amazon your ID number or something like that or student and you get a faster shipping and discount as well so that's pretty cool so, yeah so make sure you do that um, Sometimes it gets really hot and not to overdo it, but make sure you're like you have glasses and stuff because I have like in my car I have like two actually a black one yeah I have two glasses sunglasses I'm sorry and then I have these which are my favorite ones I'm sorry this is my hair um are my favorite ones and just because it gets really hot and on my way back home it you know just the sun it's super bright um. So yeah, that's basically it for, for school. Um, you could actually also buy your books on campus, not at the library, but sometimes they post on the wall, um, like 
paper saying, oh, I'm selling this book, um, so on, so on, email me or call me. But I've never done that because it's just, I don't know, just not comfortable. But, I mean, if you're comfortable doing that, then you're do, do that, you know? Um, make sure you take a waddle, a waddle, <laughs> a water bottle because it gets super, super hot. And if your campus is really big, big which most colleges or universities are big. So, make sure you do that, um take enough water so you could be hydrated so you won't dehydrate um yeah take at least five to ten dollars in cash maybe for the first day at least in cash because sometimes they have um vending machines and you want to buy you know s some water or or a snack because sometimes if you're well for the summer classes the summer classes are sometimes way too long that they give you like one break so in that break 15 minute break you'll like be able to go out and and you know have a glass of glass of water you know buy yourself a water bottle um make sure you ask around where the restrooms are because trust me one day you're gonna be like okay i need to go to the restroom where the f is the restaurant you're gonna be lost but it's gonna pass it'll be okay <laughs> um Make sure you're really nice to people because people expect you to be nice. But they don't expect you to be rude and stuff. If you're having a really bad day because on the first day it could be, be super frustrating. Um, try to, like, if somebody's asking you, like, do you know, like, where this room is at or this, you know, class is at. Um, try to, like, don't be rude about it, you know, because there's a lot of people, like, I remember when, like, I, when my first day I was like, it was actually sitting I was sitting um in a group and I was like can I sit with you guys um it was like my first day of college and this chick was like you can't sit with us and I was like it's so it's not mean girls <laughs> this is not high school girl you know you have to be able to socialize and and be open to new things but stuck up people but yeah um make sure you know um what else what else make sure make sure make sure yeah just ask around like if you're lost like be like okay i'm lost can you help me can you guide me <laughs> um so yeah it's good to make friends because in class it's not they're not all freshmen they're just taking that course because they need it for the requirements or to transfer or for their major or for their associate's degree or whatever they're doing um yeah so there's adults there's um teens there's high schoolers sometimes mostly in summer um there's like different age range so don't be afraid to ask and one more thing do not be afraid to speak up during class um a lot of people say it doesn't count but it does count because if the if um if you're gonna get almost a d and and your professor is like um i don't know who the heck this is so i'm not gonna race to a c because most colleges or universities c you know and and up you know you can't be getting d's or f's um but yeah just make sure um you you try to like talk as much as you can talk ask questions if you don't know anything about the subject that they're talking ask questions that's basically what all the professors say is ask questions and just ask questions you know um can you explain this um i really don't get this um can you give us another example can you give me another example blah 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 blah, blah. you know on and on and on um yeah when you're put in a group or you know um make sure that you cooperate and um that's why you always have to listen during class because sometimes um the professors are just like get into groups and um do this or answer this question and you're like what the heck like i didn't what, what are we doing you know what i mean so you have to listen and just literally live in the moment can't be thinking about this can't be thinking about that gotta like stay focused on what you have to do some professors do not like um students using phones in class so, um, and some professors really don't care. Um, some professors, um, are just, like, very grumpy, and some professors are really nice. So, um, you have to be a teacher's pet, but just get on their nice side, you know? Um, but don't, do not do anything that, you know, that you don't feel comfortable with, if you know um, what I mean. So, yeah, just, um, 
Yeah, um, ask questions after class. If you think they're rude and stuff like that, then just don't ask questions and, and just, like, ask somebody else from the class, you know? Because some, I mean, we have to understand that that's their job and, and sometimes they're frustrated they're, like, there for um, the whole day, you know, giving lectures and stuff like that. So it can be frustrating, not only for the student, but for the professor as well. Um, if they give you breaks, if you're taking like a, a really long, um, what's it, class, an hour class, like more than an hour, I mean, I'm sorry, make sure that you're able to, um, come back in time, on time, I'm sorry, because that's gonna count, to be honest, like, you don't have to be the teacher's pet, like I said, but you have to, like, follow the rules, even if you, it's not, like, a lot of people say it's college or it's university, whatever, you have to, um, you know, like, just be on time and, and you know, follow rules. Because, I mean, come on, we're adults. We're not, like, kids. Um, if you're a freshman and it's your first time, do not go on and ask people, what's your major? Or, <laughs> or like, um, what are you going to study? Because... Some of them are not freshmen, you know, you have to understand that they probably get these questions over and over and over again. So, I mean, it's, it's something natural, you know. But just be like, hey, I'm new, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. Just conversate. Um, oh, you don't have to sit in the same spot over and over again. Um, if you have friends and you're going to sit in the same spot, that's cool. But if you do not have friends and you're um, not, if you're going to sit in the same spot, you know, that's cool as well. But, I mean, do not come with the, you know, mindset that you're supposed to be sitting in the same damn spot every, every time. You know, because you don't. It's not high school. It's college. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Getting too overdramatic. Um, but, yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, if you are thinking of taking, like, three books, textbooks, or two textbooks, and you're... If you're a girl, you're a woman, or you're a young adult, and um, you're like, okay, so I'm going to take my Louis Vuitton bag, or my bag, or my regular bag, I'm being straight up, or whatever side bag, and you are going to take like two of these textbooks, plus your binder and your folders, plus your little makeup bag, plus all your pencils, all your pens, all your staplers, by the way, you need a stapler. And staples, it, um, and Team Vogue, they have the, um, they have a stapler as well. They have, from the collection of Team Vogue, they have, they sell staplers, which are really tiny and super portable, and you can take it anywhere. But back to what I was trying to say. Do not expect your bag not to rip. Because I've seen it, and, um, I have not experienced it, but I am the type of a woman that I'm like, okay, I have to be prepared for the worst. Um, so, what I do, I bought this one at Forever 21. I did a What's in My Purse, um, video. So I bought this one, and it's super good. I do not, um, it does not guarantee me that two textbooks are going to fit here. And even if they fit there, I would not, like, I'm smarter than that to take two textbooks in here, okay? That's just really, really, you know, obvious that it, it could literally, like, rip. So make sure that if you're going to, you know, go looking all fashionable and whatever, whatnot, make sure that, um, you don't take a textbook here, though. Just take a notebook, um... And if you're not willing to carry um, um, a backpack or one of those roller ones, <laughs> um, and those girls that take the roller ones are really smart because they don't care what people say and they rather roll that thing than carry here and get back home with pain. So, I mean, if you're that type of girl that it's like, okay, I have to take my bag, I can't, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of sort of like that, but I'm smart, so you got to be smart too, you know? So, you take your bag. Um, you do not purchase a textbook, sweetie. <laughs> I'm being straight up here. You, um, grab your phone. They have websites on here on your phone where if it's like an LG or if it's a, uh, this is a Nexus actually. It's an LG. It's really good. It's one of the new ones. Um, if you have like internet access on your phone and you're able to download, um, PDF files, I remember call that's what they call it. Or any file that is um, that it's like a lot of you know file, a lot of pages. Um, so yeah, on it's it's ebooks, 
ebooks, yeah, ebooks. Um, you could download the app. Um, I think it's Kindle, something like that. Kindle. I will put the link below, and you just download um the ebook. Ebook. I'm sorry, ebook. <laughs> you download that, and you'll be able to read your whole book on this little phone, and you'll be able to you know switch the page instead of carrying this in your back. You could carry this in your back. How easy is that? So I actually, for my other course for summer, I wasn't able to, I needed an ASAP like that. So what I did is instead of like being frustrated about the whole situation, it was expensive. I'm not going to lie because I bought it. I rented it for such, you know, day for a whole semester. I rented it, but, um, basically, um, when you buy an ebook, um, something like that, well, what I did is I rented it online and downloaded it, and it was like 60-something. It, um, it was from my philosophy class, and um, yeah, it was 60-something, super expensive, but I, I needed it, and I mean, come on, I needed it, <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to show you guys if, if I will be able, and don't mind my phone, it's called Course Mark. Because it's a bit broken. Um, I got it the second day I dropped it. And ever since that day, I need to go change it. Just gotten worse. So I, they also have like um, free trials. So you're able to like, free trial, you're able to like read a few pages and see if you really like it. So also, I like to point out, a lot of professors, um, they let you um, get different type of, um, what is it called? Different type of, um. Mm, versions of the book you don't have to like buy the newest version I think that's what it's called so you're able to buy the older versions which are way cheaper so don't be like that person that's like oh hey I need a new book no you do not need a new book okay you need to save your money and be very um you know um you know very smart with your money you know good shopper because I remember when I first started college I was like because I've always been like that with my money. When I've had money, like, I've always had money, but I'm, like, I'm trying to say that I've always been like, oh, my God, I'm just going to, like, buy this new book. <laughs> I remember I was, like, a freshman. Buy this new book. Do this, do that, do that. You know, shop this. Online shopping. I love online shopping. Be like, my, I need all this stuff. No, no, no. And one night, my friend called me. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm shopping online. She's like, what are you buying? I'm like, I'm buying stuff and then she's like what are you buying and she's like I'm like I'm buying this hair extensions she's like do you need that I'm like I already have some but I kind of like them again and I want some more you know I want some brand new ones I want to feel it in my head she's like you don't need that and it was like 80 bucks and I was like you know what I don't need that and then I had actually some other items I was gonna spend like $300 online and then I was like and I ended up going to the cart and it was zero I ended up buying nothing so I'm like, you have to shop smart. Um, but anyways, so yeah, this is called um Course Smart. What is it? It's an app actually. So it's um you could down it's a website, a real website, a legit one, but um you could also have your app there. So what's cool about this is that you are able to um you're able to um you're able to 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 read it from your phone or from your desktop or from your laptop. You know what I mean? So that's freaking awesome. Like, if you have, like, a, a fine or whatever and you're like, I have to leave. You know, I have to go to my other class in the morning. In your break or, or whatever, you know, your free time in school, you're able to just go through it in your phone. You know what I mean? That's super cool. So it's called Core Smart. And um, my phone's dying. Yeah, it is. So it's Core Smart, and um, yeah. So that's the app that I downloaded. I signed up online in my laptop, and then I did. I downloaded the app and stuff like that. So the one that I'm doing, it's um, these are okay. Oh my God, it's so annoying. I'm just gonna disconnect this. Okay, so the first, um, I hope you guys can see this. Can you, can you not? Mm -hmm. So if you can see right here, um, 
right here, the first book in this, the blue one, the first one, it's a medical ethics book. And then the second one, it's a free trial. It's a psychology book. And the third one, it's a free trial. It's a psychology book. So I just wanted to see the versions before I would buy them. But I ended up purchasing, renting it um, and get it, getting it delivered at home. But I really needed um, the medical ethics one, which is this. Oh, I can't show you guys. It's like, um, it's a book. I mean, let me see if I can do that. Okay, let's see. So it's the first book that you see. So what you do there, you just click, and then it loads, and then let's see if you can be able to see. See my phone's broken in the corner, and it's just like the new Nexus. So after it loads, basically, um, you can't see it, you won't be able to see it. Nope. Basically, um, all the pages are here, and you just slide, is it? No, yeah, you just push here a button and it just lights. Can't really see it, but to the next page, to the next page, to the next page. And you could zoom in, zoom out. Um, you could even add notes. So, let me see. So, I added a note. So for the page, you add a note, and then at the bottom, you just click the note afterwards. You want to go back, and then it shows there. So that's really cool about, cool about him. Um, yeah, um, yeah. So that's basically it. Um, I'm kind of tired because it's summer and I'm going to school, so it's kind of frustrating. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna say have a calendar or uh, a note. I'm sorry. Have a calendar or a a smart notebook. So I have it from Team Bulk, and um, I got it at Staples. It came with two. It was super cheap. So I write here like my little notes. Um, like on August the eighth to 9th, I have a quiz for my philosophy class on Etudes, and um, yeah. So I just like write for every day notes what I have to do and I have to accomplish them. So yeah, um, for bags, to end this, for bags or backpacks, whatever makes you feel comfortable, don't force yourself in taking a bag just because every girl takes a bag. I've been wearing a bag since high school. I'm just used to it. For meetings, I have to take bags. I have to take a bag with my portfolio or my resume or whatever. So I do that because I'm always like on the go and on the rush. So I, I have this cute bag. I um, had another bag, a black one, and it was bigger than this one. It was another brand. Um, and yeah, I stopped using it now because it was way too big. Um, yeah, just be yourself in school. Don't try to act like anybody else. Um, just be nice to everybody. Communicate with your professors. And yeah, um, take your little makeup kit if you're a girly girl. <laughs> Um, I mean, you don't have to be a girly girl, but, you know, if, if you're that type of girl that loves makeup, take a, a small kit. Don't take your whole makeup. Um, have extra stuff in your car, like, that you think you're going to need. Perhaps, um, extra glasses in case they break. It has happened to me. Um, have extra t-shirts, extra sandals. In college and universities, they wear sandals a lot, a lot. And sometimes, and depending on what kind of sandals you're wearing, it happens a lot that your sound is rip. I'm telling you this because this happened to somebody that I know. And it was not me. So, um, yeah. Whenever I take sandals, what I do, even if, like, before they told me about this whole, so, whole situation about the sandals, I take flats um, in my, in my, um, what's it called? In my back. Because we fit. So make sure you take um extra extra sandals um in it's your flats if you're wearing sandals take flats in your bag or um leave them in your car um what else yeah um oh 
And if you if you have a, if you're taking if, I'm sorry my hair is like uh, crazy. If I love my hair though. If you're um taking a bag and you're scared that this is gonna rip or whatever, cause you're gonna take your textbook. You're hard headed. Even if I said do not take your textbook, make sure that your bag has these straps. Straps. I'm sorry. So it came with this, and um, just in case you never know, um. You just connect it to this gold part, and then you connect it to. Sorry, there's like a lot of hair that's in my hair. To the other gold part, depending on how you want to wear it, there's no right or wrong way. I'm sorry, and it's really simple. And then you just, you know, if these rip, you'll have. Plan B. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. So that's that. I mean, College 101, um, your wallet. Um, yeah. This is my high school stuff. Sorry, there's like a lot of hair that's in my hair. To the other gold part. Depending on how you want to wear it. There's no right or wrong way, I'm sorry. And it's really simple. And then you just, you know, if these rip, you'll have plan B. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. So that's that. I mean, College 101, um, your wallet. Um, yeah. This is my high school stuff. And this is an example of a syllabus. And I'm going to show you an example of um, an essay. So, um, this is an example of a syllabus. And I'm not going to show the name because I don't want to get in trouble. So, let's see if I could at least post it um, to cover it. I've never done this before. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to cover the name of the professor. I don't want to get in trouble. So, this is an example of a syllabus. If you see there, it says syllabus on top. And then, um, so that's basically it. So let me know if this was helpful for you guys. And if not, then put them down. If it was, then yay. <laughs> so, alright, bye guys.